guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is all about new in beauty for February 2018. Every month I like to share with you some of the products that were sent to me that I think are really kind of exciting for new product launches and things I'm excited to test out and share with you. As always, with all of my new in beauty videos, I offer one lucky subscriber a giant bag of beauty products. This is getting heavier each month. So if you'd like to stay tuned for a peek of what's in this giant bag of beauty goodies, you guys can see right there and how to enter just stay till the end of the video but make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already go ahead and click that red subscription button right underneath my video the first product I want to share with you guys is from it cosmetics this is their new bye bye foundation full coverage moisturizer so while it's a foundation this is really the first ever full coverage moisturizer on the market it also offers a physical SPF of 50 which is awesome dr. Chi who is a life since dermatologist was on my podcast, really how to properly protect our skin. So I do like that it's a physical SPF, which means it's going to be good for pretty much anybody. Um, typically, people who are sensitive to SPF are allergic or sensitive to chemical SPF. This reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetic CC Cream, which is one of my ride or die products, but I can't wait to test this one out since I am a little bit more mature and I do need a little bit more hydrating since I first tested out the CC Cream. I have the shade Light and Neutral Medium, which I'm really happy they came out with neutral medium because I felt like the light medium was a little too orange and the medium was a little too dark. Another product from A Cosmetics is the Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Hydrating Anti-Aging Makeup Removing Micellar Wipes. So I'm excited that this came out because I love wipes and I'm always on the hunt for a good one. Now this has no alcohol, which is perfect because alcohol can strip your skin and be actually very damaging to the skin. There are two new primers on the market that I'm interested in testing out. This is from Milk Makeup. This is the Luminous Blur Stick. I'm actually wearing it today underneath my Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation. I love the Blur Stick original. It was very mattifying. There was no silicones in it and no and none, none of those nasties. But this one is a little bit better for drier skin, I feel like, because it has more of a luminous finish. Do you see that? I don't know if it's picking up. It blurs. It per, it. I don't know how they did it because there's no silicone in here, but it definitely does a nice blurring effect. And then it also adds luminosity to it. And this other primer is from Origins, and this is the Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. I've been loving the jelly cleanser that was sent to me along with this, but this I thought was really cool. Let me just squeeze it out. Oh my God. Okay, that's weird. It's like foaming. Was I supposed to shake this? Sorry, I was supposed to shake it. Shake. Ah, that's so weird. It's really cooling though. That's so, oh my gosh. It's really, really cooling. Okay, I can't wait to test this out, especially if I have just been working out. I get really cherry faced when I work out and then a lot of times I have to rush, shower and like head out to a meeting. So this will be really nice to hopefully like tame that redness and that like hot cherry face feeling I have. Oh, that feels really nice. I really like that. Okay, can't wait to try this baby out now. The Way Cosmetics launched some new blushers. These are absolutely beautiful. They're talc-free. They're just pigmented enough. They're buildable. The best part is that they came out with two shades per palette. The goal of like the perfect flush is to have two tones. And I personally do that myself. Like I'll use like a bronzer on my cheeks and then I'll go in with a blush. When you blush, and Christina explains it perfectly, when you blush, there's two tones. It's not just one color. And so that's why she wanted to come out with a dual tone. These pans are really large. The packaging is beautiful. The Adore Blush Duo is definitely my favorite. And if you guys purchase anything from JouetCosmetics.com, you can use my discount code. It's 15% off your entire order, Serene15 at checkout. I do know that Adore is sold out as of the time I'm filming this video on Jouet's website, but it is available via other retailers that do carry Jouet. I'm also giving away the entire blush set in the giveaway today, so stay tuned till the end to see more. Seduce Me and Tease Me, which is beautiful. Um, this is definitely a little bit more mauve and fuchsia-y, but still very, very wearable because Look, I'm just gonna gently swatch, and you can see it's pigmented, but it's not chalky, it's not too pigmented. It's going to do a really nice job at like flushing your skin. I just used my fingers too, so that's beautiful. And the final duo is going to be First Blush, 
and this is a little bit pinkier, a little bit more girly, I feel like, but still really, really beautiful. I'll do that, and then I'll rub on this end. So you can see it's very light and you can build it up. Um, obviously don't use your fingers, use a brush. A new moisturizer on the market is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I've been using this for a few days now and so far I've been really enjoying it. What I love about this moisturizer is that it's dimethicone free and silicone free. So you pump it out. It's also really hygienic because I'm not dipping my finger in there. I love, love, love pumps like this. I've been liking this moisturizer as my daily moisturizer. It's very lightweight, but still hydrating. It absorbs very quickly without leaving that residue. It's perfect for my dry areas, but also works really lovely with my more oily areas. So if you are on the more combination side or dry side, I think you'll really enjoy this. I'm so excited. I purchased the Glossier Solution Exfol Exfoliating Skin Perfect. You know, I'm a huge fan of Glossier, essentially a chemical exfoliant using acids, but there's three types of acids, AHA, BHA, and PHA. I believe AHA exfoliates the top layer of your skin, BHA is underneath, and then PHA is soothing. There's 0.5% salicylic acid. It's great for acne. It's great for scarring. You see the clinicals and you see the before and afters of their campaign, and it's real people. So it's kind of amazing at what this product has been able to do for them. I also do love the packaging. I think it's really cute. Um, hopefully it's recyclable. So you open that up. I've been waiting to open it on camera. Got the Glossier pink bottle. You pop this open. And you can pump it and use a cotton pad and just rub on. And if you do use this, please, please make sure you're wearing a good SPF every single day. Um, you should always wear SPF, but it's even more important when you're using a chemical exfoliant. Shiseido came out with this new energizing cream, and it's called the Essential Energy Moisturizing Gel Cream. That's what it looks like. I think that's going to make a really good day cream. I love gel creams for the daytime because they tend to absorb quicker and work better underneath makeup. And Aquan came out with some beautiful new lippies. These are, I actually don't have the name of these officially, but they look like duochrome diamonds. These are really, really pretty. They are new. I watched one of these because I don't even have the color name on these, which is a little bizarre. I love the applicator. If you can see that doe foot, it's such a unique application. I feel like this is really pretty for the center of your lip. I don't know that I'd wear this as my full lip color. So let's try this one. I'm going to try this like crystallized one on my lips right now. If you want something to just highlight the center of your lips, you might want to look into these. I like that it's not sticky and it doesn't feel like I just put a bunch of gloss on my lips because I don't like feeling of gloss on my lips. If you follow me on Insta stories, you probably would have already seen that I got the new Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow. I also used this in a recent Insta Live, which a lot of you guys later messaged me and said, your skin looks amazing. It looked great before, but then you put the Youth Glow on and we noticed a difference. Because I think when I was talking to you, I didn't really see a huge difference at first, but you guys messaged me and said you saw the difference via the live stream. I have been using it. It's great. I think it just looks good alone. It looks good underneath um, tinted moisturizers or tints where I'm not wearing a heavy, heavy product. Um, not that I wear a lot of heavy products, but you know what I mean, like where I'm not wearing a full coverage foundation. I like using this in conjunction with like concealers or lightweight tints. Bite Beauty has come out with new Prismatic Multi Sticks. These are beautiful. I'm so excited this was sent to me. So this is in the shade Oyster Pearl, and I'm just going to swatch them all. I love how creamy these are. So that's that's Oyster Pearl, and multi sticks means you can use it on your eyes, your face, your lips, wherever you want. But look how gorgeous that is. Rose Pearl, and I actually wore this on my eyes already, and it looks really great. Not something I typically would think to put on my eyes, but I saw one of their Instagram photos with someone, with one of the models using that. It's Peacock Pearl, look at that. This one's Blush Pearl, really, really iridescent and pretty. Pink Pearl, really gorgeous. So something a little kind of similar to the by Prismatic Multi Sticks, um, which I'm noticing like between the Kevin Aquan glosses, the Bite Pearlescent Multi Sticks, and the new Cover FX products I'm about to share with you, there's a, definitely a trend in the whole glitter world of beauty. It's not necessarily glitter anymore. It's very much that like multi-dimensional chromatic iridescent shine, which uh, 
leads me to Cover FX Glitter Drops. I think I've talked about this a few times. I have the shade in Mirage, and I've been wearing this on my as my highlight here and there. I have the new products, which is the Shimmer Veil, and these are for your eyes. So they're really, really gorgeous. I don't have all of the shades, but I will swatch the ones I do have. This is the shade Moonstone, and you can see, like, when I turn my hand, you see that, that like, metallic duochrome look. This is my favorite shade. This is in Celestial, and look how beautiful Celestial is. Sorry, I'm trying to use my monitor. Look how beautiful Celestial is right there. We've got Amethyst on top of my hand right here. Halo. And finally, I have Magic. Please say if you're going to pick up anything, get Celestial. That's my favorite one. Physician's Formula has launched a ton of new products, one of which I'm very excited to try out is the new foundation, and it's called the Healthy Foundation. I have the shade LN4. SPF 20, but I look at this packaging. Like, way to go, Physician's Formula, for up, upgrading your packaging. Look at this crazy doe foot, too. Something that I don't think is talked a lot about in the beauty world about Physician's Formula is that it was actually developed because the founder's wife had really, really sensitive skin and couldn't use any of the products that were available at the time. He went and developed Physician's Formula so that it's sensitive skin friendly. I'm really excited about these new brow lasts from Physician's Formula. They're long wear brow gels. You twist these open, they come in four shades, and it kind of reminds me of Wonder Brow. I think was that product that was around for a little bit. But the best part is they have a spoolie. They took what I loved about Wonder Brow but made a spoolie out of it. So very excited to test these out. There's four shades. Hopefully one of them will match me. Make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications because I will be doing a full face of first impressions like I always do and you'll be notified, hopefully, if you're subscribed and turn on that bell. Physicians Formula also launched a new Killer Curves mascara. I'm a huge fan of their... Sexy Boost Mascara, and I'm also a huge fan of their Green Tube Mascara, so this is their new one. <gasps> oh no. Ben. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a new one of that before I test it out, but uh, fail on my part. I realize my own strength. <laughs> Tay London has launched these glitter flips, and they're lip glosses that go on matte, and then you wait two minutes, and then you pout, and then they become glittery and sparkly. So I don't really quite know what the point of that would be other than kind of like a fun little gimmick. But at the same time, I'm just like, is that necessary? It goes on relatively like satin finish, really pretty nudie pink. Let that dry and then I'll like smack it and see if it glitterifies. Nude Sticks has launched eyeliners. A huge fan of Nude Sticks. I actually swatched these eyeliners on my hands I took a shower, I went about my life, everything, and they were on my hands for over 24 hours. Even with a shower. A little insane in how long lasting they are. So this is the first non-stick product from Nude Sticks, and the applicator is really interesting. I don't think the camera can pick this up, but it's kind of like a little wheel. And what's gonna happen is, let's see, we'll draw it right here. You kind of roll it to draw. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work on my eyes, but the packaging is very innovative, something very different. I haven't seen anything like this before. And I do like the metallic rose gold shade. I think it's a really pretty shade. So here's the lipstick. I'm gonna... It kinda gets, oh, it does. It gets kinda sparkly there. I'm on the fence about that one. I thought it was funny and fun that they came out with that, but I'm just not quite sure the need for it. It's not like I could wear this and then not smack my lips and make it glittery. Becca Cosmetics has launched this new anti-fatigue under eye primer, which I thought was really cool. It's supposed to just help brighten up your under eyes and smooth your under eyes, and you can see it, it does kind of smooth out the skin in that area, so I'm definitely gonna try this out. Sin Dominique launched her official eyeshadow palette latte. This is the first from Dominique Cosmetics. I went to the launch party and it's absolutely Stunning, look at this packaging. What I love about this packaging is that it's really, really sleek and nice. It is cardboard, so I wonder how clean it'll stay. I like that the mirror is super like sleek, and look at the size of these pans. Like, that's unreal. There is talc in these, but they're pressed. And 
Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna swatch my hand right now. That's so pretty. Really, really pretty. Let me swatch the mattes because the mattes are always the hardest to get right. Pretty good. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. Test it out some more. I have to actually put it on my face or my eyes to see how it performs. But, I mean, I like the colors. I like the color range and I like that the pans are a little bit bigger than what you typically would expect or get. MAC is launching two new Hyper Glow, Hyper Real Glow highlight palettes. These will be available February 15th. These look so pretty. This is my the color that like calls to me right away, that champagne-y shade. Look at that. Can you see that? I like that it's not glittery or chunky, like it's just a really pretty sheen. They're intense, but they're like realistic intense, which I like. And then there's this one, which is a little bit more of a warmer highlight palette. Really pretty. Look at that. I feel like this top shade is more of an eyeshadow for my skin tone, but it's really pretty, and I love that MAC is always inclusive in skin tone. For Cosmetics has launched some Valentine's Day, Valentine, yeah, Valentine's Day goodies. So this is the Feel Yourself Highlight Palette. I thought this is adorable, mainly because this is all I need. Like, I never go through a whole pan of highlight. So this is the perfect little trio to test a little bit of everything. My favorite one is the Center One Pillow Talk, which is new for February. Look at that intensity. And then you've got Rodeo Drive, which is one of my favorites from Ofra. And then you've got this one, which is Blissful, which came out, I think, for the holidays. They're high pigmentation, high intensity. I barely touch it with a fan brush and put it on my cheekbones because they're intense. And you can even use these as eyeshadows because they're that intense. So I love Ofra highlights. They're some of my favorite highlights on the market. And with my 30% discount, I think they're quite affordable for what you're getting. If you ever buy anything on Ofra's website directly, just use my name, Serene30, for 30% off your entire purchase. The other hero products from Ofra, in my opinion, are the liquid lips sticks and they came out with the sweetheart trio so it's gonna have these three lip colors and it's gonna be Minna, Unzipped, and Santa Ana. So I already own Santa Ana but I love this new shade it's like a wine color from Minna or called Minna and I could see myself wearing that out for dinner because Ofra liquid lipsticks do not budge, do not crack, do not dry out my lips. They last all through a meal and I don't have to worry about them, but they're also very, very comfortable when I'm wearing them, which I really appreciate. So when I go for liquid lips, it's either Ofra or Jouer. They're really the only two liquid lips that I wear because they do not budge and they don't irritate my lips. So that is everything I'm going to share with you that I'm excited to test out for new and beauty for February. As always, I offer a giant bag of goodies for one lucky winner. I'm not gonna go through everything but I'll, I'll show you a couple things like I mentioned I'm giving away the entire set of the new Jouer blushes which includes my favorite adore blush uh, duo a volumizing mascara from Burt's Bees as well as a brow pencil if you guys watched my review on Burt's Bees these are some great products the lip slip from Sarah Half, which is awesome for hydrating your lips. Sunday lips, this is some of my favorite uh, plumping lip glosses. Uh, the entire set of the Kevin Aquan lip colors that I showed you, I have a new set that I've thrown in here so you'll get all of the colors I showed you today. So get a hair oil from June. Briogeo Scalp Revival products, which I love. You're going to get some wine wipes. These are awesome. I interviewed the founder over on my podcast. I love her. I love the rebranding and packaging. It Cosmetics in here, you, you're going to find the confidence in a cleanser, confidence in a compact, and a Heavenly Luxe brush. These are some of the best luxurious brushes out there. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Go to my blog, serenewoo.com. There will be a blog post where you can enter through a widget. It just confirms that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and it gives you some bonus entries. Like if you follow me on my Facebook page, Twitter, Pinterest, you don't have to do that, but that's just bonus for you. So all you have to do is make sure you go to this website across the screen right now to enter to qualify for a chance to win this giant bag of goodies and come back every month for a giveaway and as well as stay tuned because I do a ton of giveaways throughout the 
the entire month and throughout the year. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you check out my digital interactive magazine by Serene. I always link it in the description box and at the end card, but it's just by Serene.co. Magazine has a ton of detailed content. I really get in depth there as well as all things beauty related and lifestyle related. It's just a magazine that hopefully motivates and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in because I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And that's why I created this channel. That's why I create videos three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays right here on this channel. It's why I have a blog and I post weekly over on the blog. It's really why I create all of my content is really to help you guys feel and look your best. Hope you guys check out the magazine. Issue number two is officially out for February and February's issue is all about loving yourself. As always, I hope my videos helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you might've needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos and I hope I was able to do that for you tonight. And until next time, I will see you guys right back here on Sunday for a new video. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!